So today we're going to be doing a procedure called the Active FX. Active FX is a fractionated CO2 laser that we use to remove sun damage from patients who have skin that has had quite a bit of exposure to the sun over the years. And you can see our patient here has quite a bit of red and brown. All of this is from the sun, none of this he was born with. Um, our patient has had a considerable amount of pre-cancer as well as skin cancer. And our goal today is to treat the entire area that's sun damaged so that his body can peel off that sun damaged skin and replace the cells with brand new, fresh, normal skin cells. With this particular procedure, we wait about two to four weeks after Mo's surgery so that we can not only remove the sun damage, but also help pare down the incision line and make it blended nicely with the surrounding skin. So the first part of the procedure involves putting in opaque eye shields. We want to protect the eyes because we're actually going to be treating way up to the lash line, both on the upper lids and on the lower lids. We want to make sure that the patient's eyes are fully protected prior to starting the laser. So I'm going to have you open your eyes for me. A little drop here. And this little drop helps to numb the eye so that the eye shields slip in really nicely. Okay, I'm going to have you open your eyes up and look way up over your head for me as if you're looking backwards over your head. Good. So very carefully keep looking up for me. Put that eye shield right in there. Good job. And the same thing on the other side. Just keep looking way up for me. We're going to slip that little eye shield right in. Great, so we're ready to get started now. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna have you turn your head to the left just a little bit, is we're gonna work around the eye area. Now the area around the eye tends to get quite a bit of sun damage. Um, it's very thin skin and it likes to absorb all of those UV rays. So there tends to be quite a bit of sun damage just surrounding the mm -hmm. orbital area. So we're gonna do the first little pulse here. And we like to use a cold air that helps to take away the heat of the laser. So our patient has numbed for quite a bit prior to doing the laser, and now we're going to be using the cold air in addition to really take away any of the discomfort that he might feel. So first little zap here, cold air, and that's how it feels. How was that? Is that okay? Yeah, no, nothing. All right, great. So we'll keep going here. And if you take a close look, you can see that these are little tiny white fractionated dots. Each little dot is surrounded by our patient's normal skin, and that's what helps the recovery to happen so fast. Unlike the old-fashioned CO2 lasers where patients were red and looked like burn victims for three months, this is a very, very safe laser with a very quick recovery on the order of five to seven days of healing and redness. You don't look real pretty for the first three or four days, but it does not hurt and patients recover very nicely from this. So we've now completed our active FX on our patient with the sun damage. You can see he's a little bit pink, feels a little bit warm. Um, the warmth and the pinkness lasts for about 60 to 90 minutes and then it just suddenly goes away. And then the patient will start to peel around day four or five and have brand new fresh skin at day seven. So this is a very quick recovery for the amount of improvement that he's gonna see. And so this is the active FX laser that we use to remove sun damage, as well as tighten and get rid of fine lines and wrinkles. We also use it for scar remodeling after most surgery.